Hi everyone, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports and I'm here today with Big Bass Des and Tom Melowitz. We are at Lake Roosevelt. It's going to be hot today, but hopefully not as hot as the fishing. Tom, what are we, uh, what's our approach to bass today? Well, we're going to be uh, targeting uh, smallmouth bass that are spawning and they'll be making beds. So we'll be uh, in shallow water trying to catch the smallmouth bass as they're bedding. And of course, once we catch them, we'll release them. So they'll be back in there to uh, hatch their young. To finish what they're started. To finish what and, they're started. And Des, you've told me that when we uh, catch these fish on the beds, it's not a problem. They, they're not harmed. They go right back. They'll go right back to their beds, man. Uh, smallmouth bass are amazing in that aspect. You'll uh, <clears throat> actually witness us today pull up to a bed. We'll see a fish there. It will come off of the bed once we get near it. But once we set up that camera there and pull back, that fish will actually re-enter that bed and we're gonna catch that film on camera today. I promise you guys. All right, well, I'm excited, so let's go get fishing. Let's, let's do go it. get them. <laughs> All right, well, we just pulled up to the flat here and identified a bed. And as you can see, it didn't take long for a fish to come aboard. This fish was locked right on the bed and pulled up and dropped the camera next to it and didn't spook off. And let's bring this guy in. First fish of the day, second cast of the day. Wow. And there you go. That's a nice fish. Yeah, I've got two pounder. Yeah, good way to start the day. Using the uh, Dobbin 702 for my drop shotting today. It's a good, it's a good drop shot rod. Wow, that's a quick two fish, does. Yeah, that's what we get this time of the year, man. Like I say, these fish aren't um, up here to feed at all. They're just protecting their bed. So, you know, we uh, just try to make a lot of fan casts. So we can get a bite. This guy feels a little bit heavier than the last one we got. We'll see when we get him up. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit better fish here. Nice. Yeah. yeah, just a blind, blind, blind cast. Well, we got bit. Just to let the viewers at home know, I am running a hundred percent braid. I don't have a leader tied up today. So if there's any uh, concerns about fish picking up on particular brands of line, I'm catching them on rope. <laughs> 180 pound on. test. I can land this fish, sir. Let's know. Can you slow me down so I can land the fish? It's hard to land sure. the boat moving. So. This is using uh, Major League Fishing Rules, no nets. Thank you. That's a little bit better. One about a good that? two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. yeah. Sweet fish. Good deal. Off they go. Don't worry about the fish and the chip. There you go. There you oh, go. He's off to the side, though. You got him. There you go, uh, Mike. He, he came off. Swim in front of, no, no, he's on. Oh, okay. He's, he spit out the bait. He's actually trying to get him to swim in front of the camera. Good oh, he's, job. He's, he's on this rope. Oh, the line's got him. He's on between these two. <laughs> Help him out a little bit, Tom. Trying to. Oh, wow. Look there. Oh. <laughs> Des gave ball. me some little instructions and look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Des. Good job. That 
It's too much fun. Awesome. <laughs> We're having too much fun out here. Thanks for taking us to this spot, Tom. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Expert, <laughs> expert navigation. Woo! So we just pulled up here and uh, we came across two fish that were on a bet and that was a male and a female and what we're waiting on right now is for uh, the male to re-enter the bed. Right now the bed is completely empty because the male is off the bed and when every time that male comes off of that bed that female will not commit to it. So we're waiting for the male to re-enter the bed and once it re-enters that'll bring the female back in. And Tom is pointing out to me here that the male is showing back up and I think we're ready to catch him. Des explained to me that when bed fishing, there's usually a hot spot where the fish will react to the bait being presented. In this sequence, we can see the hot spot is actually off to the side of the primary bed as the fish attacks the bait not once, but twice. See, I'm just shaking that slack line right there, Mike doesn't seem like it's too effective, but what's actually occurring with the bait is that the stick bait sits on the bottom, it's quivering just by simply shaking that slack line. And what that does is, is it keeps the bait right in the bed without moving it. That's what we're trying to do is to keep the bait right in that bed and keep some action at the same time. So just popping that slack line will give it that quiver action to possibly entice the bite here. I learned it's really important to work all areas of a bed in order to get a fish to bite. Oh, we had him on for a second there. Oh. Yeah, we'll just drop it right back down there. He'll pick it right back up. He just barely felt that hook. Come on, see it. Eat it. There he is. Got, Got him. him. Yeah. How about that? How about that? That's a decent fish. Just for the viewers at home, we actually caught this fish once when we first saw him. And uh, he came unbuttoned. And we just waited for him to pull back up on the bed. And right now we're just going to bring him back in. Notice he's not fighting as much, huh? He's already had one of them. Wow, this is just really amazing to see these fish get so close and see them swallow the bait like that. About that, Mike. That's another two and a half. This is what we call bed fishing at Lake Roosevelt in June. Wow. As you can see, Mike, this fish is way, way back behind the boat. So what we did is we saw a bed up there and it was vacant. Fish wasn't on it. So a good technique is to also just drop your bait down on there. And uh, I kept my, kept my bell open and just allowed slack line to free fall behind the boat. And what happens is when that fish returns, it's just going to pick up that bait that's on the bed. So that's why I'm... <laughs> That's why he's a country in. mile behind yeah. us. He's just a little guy. It's not the first fish that we saw. But just wanted to show you how that works out. Just a little guy. Good job, Mike. Caught that fish. Yep. My line's out a ways. We uh, used a technique that they taught that uh, Tom and Des taught me today called long lining. It's associated with bed fishing. So basically what you do is you put your, your bait on the bed, open your spool and just let the boat go down 30, 40, 50 feet, whatever, and uh, close your bale. And if that fish has in, is there on the bed, it's gonna suck in your bait and you're gonna have the fish right away. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened, which is pretty cool. It shows that I am trainable. 
And the other neat thing is this fish I just stuck maybe five minutes ago and lost it at the boat. And so he came back and bit again. I really want to thank Tom and Des for taking me out here on Lake Roosevelt today. Tom for uh, driving us around, showing us all these spots, uh, letting us fish in his wonderful boat. And Des, I owe a special thanks for jumping into Lake Roosevelt and retrieving my GoPro. So thanks Tom and Des. You guys got to get out here and fish Lake Roosevelt for smallmouth. It is really nice. See you guys online and on water.